when I've hit that point with a painting that I know I've got it and it's gonna make it, it's gonna go out the door and be somebody someday, it's really euphoric. There's a great sense of accomplishment, but I have to be really honest, there is, there's ego there and I wish I didn't have that. And the ego thing makes me feel like, okay, I, I have some value on this planet. I'm Kelly Day, I live in Ridgeway, Colorado, and I'm a mixed media artist. I got started in art uh, probably through my mom, who is an artist, and was always doing creative projects with me and running around rural Ohio pulling things in from the woods like cow skulls and leaves and berries and bringing me home to do all kinds of projects with them. She would always be pointing things out um, and always saying, oh, that's so beautiful, oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my god! Oh, look at that. <laughs> and you know, of course, you're like, oh god, mom, stop. But I think she really did train my eye to see a lot of subtleties and, and to see a lot of beauty. My process is very exciting to me right now because I am not an artist who's been practicing for 20, 30 years. I'm not an artist who has a long list of art degrees, I'm what they call an emerging artist. I'm very fresh and raw and new and scary and exciting and I love that because it's not dull. I had a lot of technical skills with my background in graphic design and understanding of attractive layout and um, some watercolor. I have had a lot of art teachers and taken a lot of classes and learned a lot of skills, but I don't think I was very fascinated by just doing one of them. And I think that when that moment came that I started learning how to put them all together was when I got really excited about art. It wasn't enough for me just to do watercolor or just to do illustration or just to do pastel. I would try to do sketches in those mediums and it just wouldn't be enough for me. One thing that I love when I do paint is to keep the layers very transparent because as they go down, it creates such a richness to, to mix gel gloss with paint over collage and over stamps and then layer over it and then spatter paint over it. And so you get this incredible richness of layers that creates depth that starts to satisfy me and I'm not satisfied with a painting until I see all those mediums and all that depth. What I like feeling in my work is to feel very alive and I'm talking about looking at it when it's done. I don't want to look at a painting that I just feel kind of warm and fuzzy about. I want to feel a little edge, a little bite on my cheek as if I've been slightly changed by it. I think that if there's something I want somebody to experience from looking at one of my paintings, it's just allowing the person, if that person can step into the painting for just a moment and feel something. It just clicks for them and for a minute they're there and, and something resonates with them whether it is the energy of the painting that just takes them in a direction that makes them feel something amazing, or if it's a big laugh. If I can give people a, a moment of, of experiencing that by standing in front of this painting, that would be, that would be my hope. That would be my mission. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is made possible by Colorado Creative Industries, the Betcher Foundation, and the National Endowment for the Arts.